Brothers and sisters, if you want to be healthy, we need to visit our family doctor occasionally. It is important to have an annual blood test. It is also wise to allow a physician to check our skin, especially if we live in a country like Australia where skin cancer is very common. Of course, we can feel sick not only physically, there are different kinds of illnesses, including psychological ones. For example, one in 16 Australians is currently experiencing depression. Statistically, one in seven Australians is facing anxiety at this moment. We shouldn't be shy to seek help of medical professionals if we feel unwell. I guess I'm talking here about obvious facts, but still some people don't make good choices. Their failure in taking care of themselves and their loved ones might have serious consequences. Let's be honest, very often we don't even follow our doctor's recommendations. The people of the chosen nation were similar to many of us. They knew what to do in order to be spiritually healthy. They were supposed to live under the rules of the covenant. They had the Ten Commandments to follow. Unfortunately, over and over again, they were unfaithful to God, breaking His laws. They didn't want to listen to the prophets either. They preferred to live according to their whims. As a result, they brought upon themselves tragic consequences. They were persecuted by their neighbors. They lived as a nation in exile. Sometimes they worshipped false gods. However, God didn't give up on them. Today's Gospel reminds us that the Heavenly Father didn't stop loving the Jewish people. Moreover, in Jesus he extended his love to the whole world. That's why he gave his own son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. Everybody has a chance to be a part of the heavenly kingdom, contrary to what Jansenism taught a few centuries ago that God's grace was intended only for a few predestined people. Even today, some groups teach that God chooses only their specific members to receive His grace. Others outside the group are fated by God to live without His blessing and eventually be condemned. We call such an idea heresy. It was condemned by Pope Innocent X in 1653. Saint John teaches us that in his mercy God sent his Son into the world not to condemn it, but so that through him it might be saved. All those who are baptized, accepting Jesus as their Lord and Saviour and believing in his words and act according to them will not be condemned. However, as Saint John says, if they consciously refuse to believe, out of their free will, they will bring upon themselves a condemnation. Jesus is a divine doctor who brought to all the peoples of the earth healing and salvation. However, some people rejected his offer. You might find them even in your own home. Two thousand years ago, the Lord brought the light to the world, but many preferred to live in darkness. And they still do today. Why? Because their deeds are evil, St. John says. Everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. Brothers and sisters, even though it is by grace that we have been saved through faith, not by anything of our own, but by a gift from God, we are called to live holy lives. 
we are not saved automatically. St. Paul reminds us that we are God's work of art, created in Christ Jesus to live the good life, as from the beginning he had meant us to live it. Our healthy Christian life is about faith on one hand and good deeds on the other. Those good works need to shine before the people so that they may see them and glorify the Father in heaven. Faith without good deeds is dead, and good deeds without faith are dead as well, according to St. James. They need to go together. Dear friends, let us take care of God's work of art, as we were called by St. Paul. Let us not disfigure it by our sins. Let us choose to live in a healthy Christian style. May our daily spiritual nourishment be prayer, reading of the sacred scripture and the sacramental life. Let us find time for other devotions like the rosary and the stations of the cross, especially during this holy season of Lent. Let us consciously accept the Lord's gift of salvation, living in the light of his holiness and grace every single day.